Hey guys, 3D Crypto here. Hope everyone's doing well. And guys, if you've been watching my channel, you've probably been seeing that I've been speaking a lot about um, projects on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, some of them are high risk, but high reward. And some people have made some very, very good gains from these projects in BNB. And I get asked the question again and again. They say, hey, these platforms are all high risk, but basically we want to make sure our BNB is safe. Um, we've kind of taken that risk, that gamble. We've made some good BNB, but what shall we do with it? And the main reason they keep asking, what shall we do with it? Is because BNB has become something amazing all of a sudden. It's become um, this coin that is just going up in price. It's got so much value and it's primarily due to the fact of the Binance Smart Chain. So you have this coin, it's going up in value. The market cap is amazing, just under $90 billion. It's breaking all time highs in terms of price. We've seen the price um, break $600. Um, and in a very short period of time, just 15 or 20 days ago, we were at $250. And now we're at over $600. It, it, we had a slight pullback. When I say pullback, I mean, we went to like $590. But if we see Binance coin at $1,000 before the end of this month, I, I would not be surprised. If we see the market cap go over $100 billion, I would not be surprised. So the biggest question is, where do I hold and grow my BNB token? And guys, the answer for that is Elephant Money. As you can see, Elephant Money has over $15 million in total value locked over four different assets, uh, which include RAP BTC, BUSD, BDO and WBNB. So these are all assets on the Binance smart chain as opposed to anywhere else. Uh, the APYs for these farms, uh, as you can see on PancakeSwap, are insane. They're like 714%, 665%, even higher in some of these farms compared to um, Elephant's APYs, which are modest, 60-70%. I'd say modest, 60-70%. They're modest in comparison to these farms. The major thing about farms is they are susceptible to impermanent loss, which basically means you might not get back the same amount of tokens that you put in. So if you put 10 BNB in with 10 with the equivalent amount of cake, when you come to liquidate your position, you might not get 10 BNB, you might get 8 BNB, and by then BNB could be at $2,000. And technically, you've lost, if you just held your coins, you would have probably made more. So that's what people are asking me. They're saying, how can we get into a platform where we have no impermanent loss? We can build our position in, in the token. We're not too bothered with the price at the moment because we just want to build our coins. We want to build our BNB position. So eventually when BNB does what it's supposed to do, which could be a month from now, five months from now, six months from now, it is ready for us. So as I said, Elephant, runs on the Binance Smart Chain through MetaMask. The Elephant platform have released a Binance Smart Chain onboarding guide. It is a very, very detailed um, instruction on how to get MetaMask set up on the Binance Smart Chain. It will tell you all the settings, all the um, network names, the RPC URLs, everything to do step by step. Just follow the instructions. I have done videos myself on this. It's very simple. It'll take a few minutes for you guys to do. If you used um, MetaMask on the Ethereum side before, it will take you a couple of seconds and you'll be set up. And then also you've got to acquire um, BNB tokens to get on to Binance Smart Chain. There's a few different ways of doing it. I won't go through every single way in detail, but if you're in a region that supports Binance, then Binance would be your number one option. Or if you're not in a region that supports Binance, you would have to go and find another place to go ahead and get BNB. But as I said, if you've got finance in a region like in Europe or the UK where I'm based, it's literally you just paste in your address from the Binance Smart Chain. You make sure you run the BEP20 um, uh, platform. You press withdraw and it'll go straight to you. I know some people are in America, in Northern America, Southern America, and like in Canada and places like that where Binance isn't as freely available. You can't use it without a VPN. And even then it does cause issues. So you've got to go through Changely, you've got to get some BNB, and then you've got to convert it to the right format so it's operational and available on the Binance Smart Chain. I won't do a video on that. I have done videos in the past on that. So go ahead and check those videos out or just search on YouTube or on Google 
there are so many good places and good places for information. Uh, so many medium articles explaining how you can go and get BNB onto the Binance Smart Chain. So that's the main thing. The first thing is getting BNB onto the Binance Smart Chain. And then once you've got it on there, then you can go ahead and get into these platforms. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be speaking about Elephant Money, the BNB side. Um, to put it into more detail, the token that's used on um, Elephant Money is WBNB, which, staps for, which stands for Wrapped BNB. Um, it's the same thing. It's it's pegged one to one. It's just it's it's a wrapped version of BNB. Um, what I do have to mention is the APYs um, are just under seventy percent um, compared to some of these other places um, and these other other farms. It's nowhere near. But what we're looking at is stability. We're looking at stability and lack of impermanent loss. Stability from the APYs that they're not going to drop from five thousand percent to two percent literally within a few days. This is a steady APY. It fluctuates as and when there is network activity. Network activity being people coming in and out of the platform. And I'll just show you, even with this type of APY, you can make some very good gains. So if I do the APY currently, which is 69.811% divided by 365 days, which gives me 0.19% daily. That is kind of the... the the, the, the figure we're going to use for our calculations, I'll go into my daily compound calculator. I'll put in the interest rate. I'll put in the principal amount, which in my case is, uh, let me pull out my principal amount, which is $13,174. Let's see how this scales over 365 days where I just roll every single day. So I'll do a daily reinvest every single day. So there you go. I pretty much double what I put in. So I'll make 13,000 in earnings. So I'll get about 26. My total value of that account will be 26,000 by, by the time I reach day 365. And I'm going to be earning roughly, this is dependent on BNB not fluctuating. Whatever price it's at now, $575, that's what it will stay at for a whole year. So obviously this calculation isn't very realistic. And it's not the calculation I would use to show the power of elephant money or the power of compound interest within elephant money. What I would do is um, look at these figures on a totally different um, way. Don't look at it as US dollar value or great British pound value. What you have to look at it like is BNB value. So where you put your principal amount in dollars, just put it in. With BNB, so my BNB, I've got 22.67 BNB. So I'll go ahead and put 22.67 BNB. Everything else stays the same. So now this is going to show me what happens to my BNB. And there you can see I've made 22.87 BNB, ignore the dollar sign, which makes my total account worth 45.54 BNB. So that's what it's worth in BNB. Now, if you look at BNB value, so 45 times uh, 575 is the current value gives me 25,000 and I think if I do that calculation again if I go back to the beginning I think it was about 26,000 so I'm there or thereabouts um, so let me put that those figures back in again just to double check and ensure that the figures that I'm getting are correct so if I was to do the same calculation BNB wise and US dollar wise, they should come both come up to the $26,000 um, figure after one year. That's one year of rolling every single day and assuming BNB will not fluctuate from this price, it will stay roughly around about $575. So that, that's your daily interest rate, 0.19%. And then from 0.19%, I'm going to tally up um, the USD value, and that should also come to roughly $26,000. But again, I'll do that right now just to double check and ensure I have the right figures. Let me go back to elephant money, and then I can go there and put in my principal amount, which is uh, just over $13,000. So I'll go back into the calculator and input those numbers. So 13174. And I'll do the calculation again, and it should come up with yeah, roughly 26,000. So 26,000 is USD value, but when ignoring that, we're looking at BNB value, and the BNB value 
was roughly about 45. So let's do the, the BNB side now. So 22.6 um, BNB. 22.67 BNB is where I'm currently at. Yeah, so 45.53 is what the account will look like after one year. So 45.53. Um, let's just do round figures. 45 times 575, today's current value of BNB. 574, it fluctuated by a dollar. Um, 20, so yeah, just under $26,000. So that's where we would be if nothing changed. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think... I think very quickly, this price is going to increase. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, we, we're at $1,000 very, very soon. I'm talking end of April. I can see us at $1,000. So I'm going to be very conservative with my estimation. Saying at the end of the year, BNB is going to be worth $1,000. So automatically, you can see that account is now worth $45,000. So that's where the discrepancy comes in with a USD value. So this wouldn't apply to farms. This, because in farms will be susceptible to impairment loss, these pools aren't. So you can just see from those calculations that I'm going to be earning um, a certain amount. So 45500 less what I've got now is 13174 So let me bring that down. So in the course of a year, if BNB goes to $1,000, I'll take up my initial 32300 that's the profit in a year for just rolling every single day and BNB getting to $1,000. That's a profit of $88 per day. $88 per day for just rolling and BNB going to $1,000. Rolling every day, that's 100% that can be done. BNB going to $1,000? I if it, if it doesn't go to a thousand dollars, I'd be more surprised. So if you look at the total um, value of the account, it goes to forty five thousand five hundred dollars. That's the total value of the account after one year. If BNB goes to a thousand dollars, um, that's that's pretty that's pretty safe in my opinion. I think both of those things are pretty safe. So you don't get you don't get these type of APYs in, in safe projects. In like These type of APYs are only in safe projects, is what I meant to say. You won't get these in high-risk projects because they offer you something like 25% a day and you know where you stand. Those are all reliant on fresh BNB coming in. Elephant Money doesn't rely on fresh BNB. This all relies on network activity. Network activity is just buys, sells, rolls, claims. And you can see right here, I will show you exactly how to get into WBNB. So you can see here in my account, I've got 1.5 BNB. I can't just put BNB in. I need to wrap this BNB and make it WBNB so the Elephant Money platform can see this asset is available and I can put it into the pool. So you go to PancakeSwap, you go and connect via MetaMask, you wait for it to populate your BNB account. It'll, it'll pop up in a few seconds saying I have 1.5 you can see 1.5 BNB, and now you wrap that to WBNB. So when you wrap that to WBNB, you will get the same amount because it's pegged one to one. There's no loss of, um, like, when you trade, it's just pegged straight peg because what you're doing is you're not trading a coin, you're just wrapping a coin into a different protocol which allows you to use it on the Elephant platform. You confirm, it will take it'll less than a few pennies in gas, and once you've confirmed it, it will now be usable and um, once it's confirmed it will be usable on the elephant side and then once it updates in a few seconds as you'll see it do right now it will say your balance for wbnb is now 1.5 and you can see 1.5 is the balance for BM, um, wbnb and the balance for bnb has decreased by the same amount i'll go back over to elephant you can see my available balance is now 1.5 bnb i put in my 1.5 bnb in my deposit but obviously, there I won't get 1.5 added in. What happens is there's a 10% buy and sell. And that is what the network activity is, buys and sells. So I'm going to see my 1.5 BNB is going to be worth 1.350 BNB. So my balance will increase by 1.350 BNB. And that's because of the network activity fee of 10% in and 10% out. So when I go to sell, there'll also be a 10% fee. And when I buy, there's a 10% fee. And that is what constitutes 
network activity and that is what elephant um relies on it relies on network activity if there's no network activity nothing happens you don't lose anything it's just that you're not going to be earning because on the 10 percent buy in and buy out eight percent goes to a daily drip and that gets paid out in rewards over a 24-hour period and two percent goes to the instant div so depending on how much of the of the share in elephant you hold that constitutes how much you will get from the daily drip the eight percent daily drip and the two percent instant reward uh, and that eight and two is made from the 10 percent buying and buy and buying in fee and the withdrawing fee so that network activity is dependent on um people coming in and out of the platform and then as you can see guys i done my projections i saw kind of what i i'm seeing so now i'm at 24 tokens same interest rate my i would have 48.21 bnb at the end of the year so if i done nothing else and just rolled i would have 48.21 bnb and you know what I'm, I'm gonna this is what i think i think in 12 months time i am um, i think i honestly think bnb is not gonna be worth 573 dollars so it won't be twenty seven thousand dollars i'll be sitting on so the thirteen thousand won't become twenty seven thousand dollars in my opinion again this isn't financial advice what i honestly think that's going to happen i honestly believe that that 48.21 bnb will be worth minimum minimum this is absolute minimum eleven hundred dollars that's the absolute minimum so you above fifty three thousand dollars is what that account will be in my opinion within one year that is the the value of the account and then the great thing is if bnb keeps going up the account value keeps going up and you can withdraw as much as you need you don't have to withdraw the full amount you can withdraw portions you can withdraw five bnb one bnb it doesn't matter and there'll always be network activity and why will there be network activity because of bnb price as the price goes up people might want to liquidate positions they'll take out they don't mind paying the 10 percent exit fee because they're probably dollar cost averaged and they've made that 10 percent fee up through the price appreciation of bnb then there'll be people who see the price of bnb go down maybe and say you know what now's the time to get in i want a dollar cost average because i see bnb going up so they might throw in say 10 bnb 15 bnb and that's where the network activity comes from and that's where you go going and benefit from the eight percent daily drip and the two percent instant rewards so guys that's elephant money i hope this video was informative uh, if you liked it um i, I know it was requested quite a bit by a few people saying look can you talk about elephant money and the reason we want to hear about elephant money is because we want safe stable earnings that we know we can rely on with no impermanent loss we want our bnb position to grow and build over the coming months and then when when the time is right and bnb is primed then we can obviously pull out small positions um for like everyday um costs everyday um living that we want to pull out or go into different positions so guys if this video was informative and you enjoyed the content please do smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon any questions or comments about elephant money please do leave them down below or contact me on any of my social media links or even better um you can email me as i said hit me up on social media or you can also go on to the bankroll telegram chat where elephant money is discussed and there's a lot of knowledgeable folk there including the lead there for Ele elephant money bank teller so any questions any comments please go ahead and put them towards um, bank teller or anyone in the room and there's always someone around that can help you out if you've got any questions or comments about how to get into elephant money if you want to know more about binance smart chain watch my previous videos i do explain about how to get into binance smart chain and how to get fiat to bnb and bnb into the platform and um if you've got any questions or comments regarding apys for elephant or anything regarding elephant money please do let me know i will leave the links for elephant money down below so you literally go there click there and we'll take you to the elephant money site and then from there you can choose whichever platform you want to get into i've spoken about the bnb side in this video but the btc side the bitcoin side is also available the stable coin busd is also available and the algorithmic coin side bdo are also available so you have different options but the one that was requested the most is bnb and that is primarily off the back of a lot of these high risk roi staking platforms people have made some amazing gains people have 
5 x I know people have gone in into certain platforms like BNB Farmex and they've made 10 BNB from one BNB, but they don't want to re-risk. They don't want to take that gamble again. They said, look, we, it's the gamble's paid off. Now we're just happy, happy to have those stable earnings. So what's the best thing to do? And the best thing to do if you want stable earnings, low risk, low maintenance, you don't want to think about it. You don't want to stress. You don't want sleepless nights. You don't want to gamble. Elephant money is a smart play because number one, you will not be uh, affected by impairment loss because this isn't a farm. This is a single asset pool. That's number one. You will not be affected by a permanent loss. And number two, you just build your BNB &B position. So when BNB hits those heights of $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, you will be in the best possible position. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. As I always say, you work hard for your crypto. Make that crypto work hard for you. Till my next video, take care.